Hey Alex, uh, this is Dad. Uh, here's a training video for you on Craigslist for sale by owners. Things have changed since you've done this last. Go to the Craigslist.org under Chicago, click on real estate for sale, and then look for the uh, by owners, okay? Once this is open, what I want you to do is also open up top producer and uh, the user ID and password is um, going to be the following. You might want to write this down. It will not show up on your computer until you use this for the first time. Capital J, small a y, capital R, small e i d. Password, underscore, I'm sorry, um, not capitalized, thunder, rain 12. Okay, sign in. All right, let me orientate you really quick with top producer. This is the deal. Under contacts, you will go to contacts. You will say add a contact. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go over to select modify list and you will go ahead and select for sale by owner and hit done. All right. If there is a name on the Craigslist posting, you'll put it in here. Otherwise, if it does not give a name, you will say owner of record. Okay. Or their name. Okay. Just so you know. And then if they have a phone number, it goes there. And then over here, this is where the Craigslist Craigslist email gets copy and pasted to. All right, and we'll show you where to find that. Under lead source, it's under Craigslist, okay? And then apply action plan, type CR, and there's Craigslist by owner. I want you to do this on a Saturday, a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, but the launch date every week is for a Monday, okay? And uh, for right now, we have one action plan. I may add more than one action plan so that it just gives different, um, different information to the same people after that one week is over. Okay, we want to keep hitting them. Um, I'll show you what the action plans look like. So then what you would do is you would just simply, in this case, we're just going to use my email. And we'll just say Jay is the owner. Okay, and let's say Jay gave a phone number. Okay, there we go and then we have the contact, all right? So that's all you have to do, all right? But it's different than before. And what we're doing is the action plan, just so you have an idea, if you go to plan, plans manager, um, I made a plan up for Craigslist by owners. And this is these are the emails that go out and the day that they go out, get it? So instead of having you send a bunch of different emails, the system does it for us. And this is tied to my email, and I'll just show you which email is currently being used uh, under settings. I believe I have it set to, let's see, which email is it being sent from? Email being used is j at jreadhomes.com, all right? All right, so that, that is the way that works. Um, now, going back to the by owners. Just a reminder, we're looking for North Chicagoland, Northwest Suburbs, and West Chicagoland. So let's set up North Chicagoland first. And the rules, Alex, the rules. We do not want to send this out to rentals. Anything less than $50,000 and anything that is not going to be considered a true for sale by owner. And keep in mind, there's a lot of people posting for outside of Illinois, which is very irritating. All right, let's just try to find some that look normal. I just wanna walk you through these. Okay, here we go. Is this a true for sale by owner or not? Um, income, 1300 per month, two roommate, they can stay or move, one single family, stay in lower level. This guy I know has been trying to sell for a while and he's trying to make it sound like it's investment property. Um, should we reach out to him? Eh, sure. So we would hit reply copy and paste, and we go over to our email settings, go to contacts, go to add contact, put his email in here, and remember, you have to always select that it's a for sale by owner up here, okay? Does the guy have a name? David, okay, and David has a phone number. So that's David. And David has a phone number. The phone number is 645-5874. 645-8574. Did I do that right? 
Okay, and then we go over here, type Craigslist, and then over here, Craigslist. I own her. Okay, Alex, we do not want to start this any other date than a Monday, and that means you have to do this on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. All right, and then launch it the following Monday. Always launch it on a Monday, okay? If they give you the street address, which they do, you know, you could type it in over here under street address. And then what we do is we say add contact and we're done. Remember, when you get back to these for sale by owners, there's certain rules I want you to follow, Alex, so pay attention to this. Um, you do not know if all these are true for sale by owners. So maybe people that have their home uh, listed with a realtor and they miscategorized it, it should be under by broker, but they put it by owner. Um, and it may be companies that are flipping homes or doing other things. So you want to look just for true for sale by owners. Let's look at this. We are open to below market offers, want to stay close ASAP brokers. If you have a buyer, bring them now. Condo is very little. This is this is being sold by a state of original owners. Um, sounds good. If you ask me, it sounds good. This is all good. So this is Highland Park Penthouse, uh, $8.99. Wow. All right, copy, right? And then you go here and you add it under contact add. I'm not going to go through it again, but you type in the email here, fill out this, this, and if you don't have a name, just say owner of record, okay? Remember, it's either owner of record or their name. Go over here to source and apply action plan, and it always starts what? On a Monday, right? Always starts on a Monday, right? Right, and we go to Craigslist, right? and it starts on a Monday. All right, uh, there's no name, just an email, no address. So it would be pretty much like this. I guess I'm doing this after all, right? Okay, done. We got owner of record, boom, 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 boom. And the source was Craigslist, right? Okay, got it? And then we add. All right, be on the lookout for the following. So. Uh, after we add this, let me go over here. Let me just kind of like show you some of the things we're not after, okay? We're not after. Let's see, farms, no. Uh, homes out of state, no. Um, these all three, for sale, for sale, for sale. Um, if you were to open these up, look. Look at all this nonsense. Obviously, that's not a regular for sale by owner. Stay away from it. Keep in mind, same thing here, keep away from it. Keep in mind, just because it says it down here, do not contact me, does not mean you should not contact them. Contact them, um, but if they put in their verbiage, do not contact them, do not. In this case, this is just a very unusual type of description. I could tell clearly it's not a regular for sale by owner. Let's get into like some of these other pages further down and um, you know, Milton, Wisconsin, Dixville, I, I don't even know where those places are, Winter Park, Florida. I stay in Illinois, okay? This one on diversity, let's just take a look at it. It's for rent? No, we're not gonna look at it. Remember, we're not looking at rentals. Holy cow, how many times do I have to put it in there? Um, Northern Wisconsin, no. So you get the point, some people are just misusing the system. Fox Lake, that looks like a possibility. Let's just take a quick look at it. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, it actually looks like something that you would do, right? I don't see any, any red flags, so go ahead and do this one. All right, you get the point. Share this with whoever's going to be doing it. Make sure they follow the rules, Alex. Otherwise, don't have them do it. Uh, $10 an hour, I need it done every week, three areas. You're probably talking about six hours worth of work. Um, that's about $60 a week, but it has to be done every week okay every week let me know if you're going to do this if not i could find somebody else just make sure it gets done all right bye